Check my speaker. Right. Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, thank you for coming. So nice to see you again. Thank you for being here on time. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm happy to see you. Good evening, Kevin, Franco. It's nice to see you, Walter. I think that yesterday... Nice to see you, too. Can I see you, too? I don't know. I was in the wrong place because I was with uh, the other, other guys. Um, I don't know what happened, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird because, I mean... Uh... <laughs> I don't know why you got into that other group. Uh, I don't know how that happened. But when you first wrote to me, I was like, what is he talking about? I mean, why is he, why is he saying that he got into the class and there were just four people in the class? I was like really confused. That's the reason why I asked I you. I also asked them about about you and they say, no, maybe he, he want to come to the class. So I said, so. I will take any screenshot okay. and I will send it. All right, so. well, um, that's really bad. It's, it's really awful what happened, Walter, but thank you for letting me know because now we have you here. So that's good. That's very good. Okay, thanks. And I didn't know you had a WhatsApp group. Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that like always, like all the time, there is always like a WhatsApp group for each uh, class, let's say. Mm -hmm. So did, I'm, I'm sorry that you didn't know about that before. Probably I didn't mention it before. I'm sorry. No problem. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Perdón, espero que los demás sí estemos en el grupo. Porque a veces pasa eso, que creo que no sabemos que tenemos un grupo de WhatsApp Espero que todos los demás, los demás sí estemos. Siempre que... Perdón. Siempre que se hace un nuevo grupo, al, como al principio, antes de, de cualquier cosa, creo que les envían un correo electrónico en el cual contiene todos los datos. Y por lo general también eh, creo que les mandan un mensaje por WhatsApp a las personas que están encargadas de... Como la administración y todo eso. Ellos les mandan eh, un mensaje en el cual les dan los Lo, el, el detalle de, del grupo entonces allí siempre hay como un enlace para poder unirse al grupo de WhatsApp, así que si alguien no se ha unido todavía pues con gusto yo se los puedo compartir ya me parecía raro la verdad que solamente fuéramos como quizás como 13 o algo así en el grupo, la verdad que veía bien poquitos así que bueno eh, cualquier cosa pues pueden escribirme directamente y ahí estamos a la orden ¿verdad? Solamente identifíquense, porque a veces yo me pongo, me confundo un poco. Por ejemplo, ahora me pasa. Maybe you have a bad connection tonight. Okay. Pas Right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I apologize. Let's see. I'm trying to use these new headsets, and then I'm having some technical difficulties. I don't know why. They're not working properly. I was getting a message on the screen saying that the microphone is not working, but hopefully now you guys can hear me. Let's see. So yes, I can hear you right now. Awesome. Thank you. Now so I can hear you. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 
for confirming. Maybe Thank because you. it's raining. Here it's raining. Yeah, it could be, but I don't. I think that that's not really the reason why. I think that it is just that my connection is not good. Um, I have a laptop computer, so mm -hmm. it doesn't have like too many USB ports, so I can connect uh, all the different things that I have. So I think that that was the problem actually. Okay. Can we just listen to today? Okay, but no problem, Jacqueline. Uh, thank you. Thank you for letting us know. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Uh, so it's nice to see you again, guys. Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys had a great, uh, great day. Let me do something here really quick. Oh my goodness. I think I'm missing something here. Bueno, vamos a trabajar así. No hay problema. Never mind. All right, guys. Hope you guys are doing great. It's nice to see you again. We have basically just two more classes this week, just today and tomorrow. So that's awesome. I think that we should be happy because we are almost at the middle. Like we just have two more weeks and then everything is, all of this is going to be over. You guys will be done with this uh, module and then you guys can move on to the uh, next module. I think that there are just three modules for free advance and then you guys are going to go uh, to the advanced levels. I don't know exactly how they work, honestly, but hopefully, I mean, if you guys can continue with classes, that would be great because you guys can learn uh, more. Uh, I think that regardless, if you guys are really good or whatever, uh, I think that there is always uh, room to improve, right? I think that there is always something new that we can learn, right? So yesterday, guys, we were talking about how to ask favors. Do you remember that? We talk about how to ask for a favor, how to say yes uh, when somebody asks for a favor, also how to say no in case that we are not able to do it or we don't want to do it. And we also discuss how to say thanks when somebody uh, do us a favor. We also learn how to do that. And we also learn uh, also how to uh, refuse a favor and what to say after a refusal of a favor, right? Like if, for example, somebody tells us, um, sorry, I can't, then we can say, that's okay. Or I'll ask someone else, okay? We have different expressions that you guys can use. Bueno, entonces ahora vamos a seguir nosotros con nuestros temas. Eh, <clears throat> perdón. Vamos a ver por acá rapidito. Let's go over. Uh, let's switch over to. Okay, and yesterday somebody told me that. Okay, está Kevin. Okay, very good. Yeah, so I think that Kevin was not in the group. <laughs> bien, bien interesante. Parece que habían varios que no estaban en el grupo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Parece que varios no estaban en el grupo. <laughs> Bueno, qué bueno que ya se están uniendo. Ya tenemos a Kevin, tenemos a Franco, a Walter Franco. Así que, pues perfecto, ¿verdad? Todavía estamos a tiempo. Ok, so, ayer, guys, estábamos hablando acerca de los favores. Déjenme mostrarles por acá. Nos quedamos en esta parte. Dime just a second, guys. Please hold on. Please bear with me. Yeah. There we go. All right, so uh, yesterday, guys, we this is the last uh, thing that we saw yesterday. We'll uh, basically learn how to ask for favors and all, the, and all of that. So for today, uh, we have like the continuation for that, which is uh, how to uh, make requests with models, if clauses, and gerunds, okay? So basically, probably this is something that you guys already uh, know, let's say. Maybe you guys have an idea about this. So we have the model verbs. And if you probably know, the model verbs are verbs that like, for example, can, could, would, should, 
all of that, right? All of those are model verbs. Uh, we call them uh, model verbs because they basically help uh, to modify other verbs, right? Like for example, in this case, we have, can I borrow your pencil? Okay, so basically this is the model verb. And then we have the main verb, which is this, borrow, right? Then we have, could you lend me a jacket? So like the main verb in this sentence is going to be lend, and then the model verb is could, right? Could. And just a reminder, just a friendly reminder that uh, we pronounce this like could, right? It's not could, it's could. Just like, como si fuera en español, eh, C-U-D, o K-U-D, por así decirlo. Could, okay? Could you lend me a jacket? And then we also have, is it okay if I use your phone? Okay, so basically here, guys, we're going to learn uh, more ways that we can ask for a favor, okay? We can request something. Eh, acá vamos a ver, tenemos por esta parte, dice, en menos formal, más formal, okay? Tenemos la flecha, so we have the arrow that is pointing down, right? So we have less formal, so basically all the sentences, all the requests on top are less formal than the request at the bottom. Okay, this is this is more formal at the bottom, right? So we have different options, guys. Like for example, you can say, can I borrow your pencil? Okay, as you can see, this is less formal, right? This is something that you would say maybe to a friend, to a family member, somebody that you are familiar with, somebody that you know. And then uh, on the other end, you have like, for example, I wonder if I could borrow some money. Okay, that is more polite, right? So um, I wonder if I could borrow some money. That's different, right? And then uh, at the bottom, at the very bottom we have, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. Okay, by <clears throat> Uh, do you guys know the difference between borrow and lend? Or are they the same? What do you guys think? What would be the difference between the two of them? I'm sorry, Kevin. I oh, think no, that... Okay. okay, so Walter, go ahead. I think the lend is like um, when you ask for a lend in a bank. Mm -hmm, okay. And borrow is something like if you have a pencil, you can, you may ask for your you can ask to your friend, mm -hmm. can you please borrow me a pencil? I think mm -hmm. that is for a moment in the land, it's kind of uh, like a um, contract. Mm -hmm. I think that is different. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think that very good, very good. Thank you so much, Franco. Uh, I appreciate that. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién más? ¿Qué piensan ustedes eh, de lo que dijo Walter? Vamos a ver. Kevin? About what, sir? Uh, yes. So, what do you think about borrow and lend? What is the difference between the two of them? Mm, borrow is when, is when, sorry, borrow is when someone lend you something and lend is when you do it. It's when you lend to somebody, to someone else. Mm -hmm. If I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, you ask, can you borrow me some money? Someone is giving you money. Mm -hmm. And can you lend me some money? You are giving um, the money. This is what I, I remember. I'm not, I'm not sure mm -hmm. if, that, if that is correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Kevin. Very good. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Está bastante interesante, bastante acertado lo que dice Kevin. Vamos a ver quién piensa eh, algo diferente. So Kevin uh, was saying can like... Be, I, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but What? it can be if you lend, it's just you refer for money and borrow is for objects or mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very I'm good. not sure. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Arlene. I appreciate that. Thank you. Very good. So Arlene says that uh, lend is for money, you said? Yeah, if, if for like ask for money and borrow is like ask for an object. 
or not. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Arlene. I appreciate that. Vamos a... I have another idea. Sorry. Okay, um, go ahead. Uh, we might say that Len is when you ask for something in general. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you want to that someone lends you a jacket, some money. Mm -hmm. But uh, borrow is when you ask to lend. Basically, mm -hmm. in Spanish, we said pedir prestado. Lend Very sería good. prestar. Mm -hmm. Es decir, yo presté... Eh, no sé, mi teléfono a Juan uh -huh. y borrow sería Juan me pidió prestado mi teléfono para una uh -huh. llamada, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Muy bien, very good, very good, Kevin. There, there you go. Okay, that's correct. So basically we say, can I borrow your pencil? But on the other hand, we say, could you lend me a jacket? Okay. Si se fijan es diferente, ¿verdad? Dice, eh, ¿puedo pedir prestado eh, tu lápiz y por otra parte es eh, puedes prestarme una chaqueta okay so it's different right that's the difference guys borrow is like pedir prestado como dijo Kevin okay puedes puedo pedirte prestado tu lápiz okay and on the other hand we have could you lend me a jacket si se fijan hasta la forma de pedirlo es diferente verdad siempre decimos I uh, Can I borrow? And on the other hand, we have, could you lend me a jacket? Okay. And we have the same thing down here. Okay. It says, would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Okay. And also it says, uh, I wonder if I could borrow some money. Okay. Uh, the, uh, here we have the same subject, right? Is I, can I borrow? Uh, would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? I wonder if I could borrow some money, okay? I, and then we, on the other hand, we have uh, this um, other example. It says, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car, okay? You. Si se fijan, también va diferente, ¿verdad? Okay, aquí es, soy yo. Y por otra parte es, si tú, okay? Okay, me estaba preguntándome si eh, puedo tomar prestado algo de dinero. Y por acá dice, estaba preguntándome si te importaría prestarme eh, tu carro, tu auto. Okay. Are we clear? Do you guys have any questions on that? Si se fijan, son pequeños detalles, ¿verdad? Pero eh, creo que nos ayudan a expresarnos correcta, eh, de la forma correcta, ok, gramaticalmente, son pequeños detalles, así que ya saben, para la próxima, can I borrow this from you, or could you lend me uh, something, ok, that's the difference. Sir, can, uh, can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. And just uh, maybe a grammatical question. Why we use loan for when we ask for when we we get money from, for example, a bank or a friend? I mean, we said, uh, "Could you ask? Could you borrow me some money?" Mm -hmm. So the bank uh, lends you that money. But um, what or why is not? borrow why is why we have to say loan when we ask for when we get money from a bank or from a, a financial financial institution, institution. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, the reason for that is because we are talking about a noun right so we have different kind of words we have uh, verbs we have nouns like in this case if you are talking about a loan you are talking about a noun, right? You're talking about that specifically. You're talking that the bank uh, give you a loan, right? So that's the reason why. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. 
Ok, muy bien. Eh, lo que Kevin pregunta es por qué decimos eh, loan, ¿verdad? Cuando el banco nos da dinero. La razón es porque estamos hablando de... Es un nombre en específico, ¿ok? Estamos hablando de un préstamo, ¿ok? Ese es el concepto. Por esa razón lo decimos así. ¿Ok? That's the reason why. All right, guys. So, um, I don't want to play this video, uh, like, all, all the video, uh, the, the entire video, because I, I think that we don't have that much time. But I would like to just to share with you a couple of things. So, we're going to listen to the video, uh, just a couple of things, and then we are going to move on to the next part, okay? The idea here is to practice. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person, addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, Usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. Asking a very close friend to lend you $5. Usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow... Oigan acá esta parte para que eh, vean lo que les... <laughs> bueno, más bien escuchen parte de lo que les acabo de decir. Pongamos la atención aquí. Just a second, guys. There we right, go. And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So, for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? Okay, so if you ask a friend to lend you money, you can say something like, uh, can I borrow some money from you? Okay, algo así creo que dijo. Vamos a ver, vamos a poner atrás otra vez. Right, and the level of confidence that you have with the person. So, for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, Usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back. Can I borrow $5? I, I pay you back, okay? All right, can I borrow $5? Um, on the other hand, we could say something like, could you lend me $5? That would be another way to say it, right? So that's different. I hope that uh, we are clear with this. Do you guys have any questions? No questions. Okay, let's go on. Let's move on. Tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, is quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models, we want to use if clauses, and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder, you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are uh, so what are models? Well, those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there, can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, those, those are simply, uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this were, that's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Okay. And what we mean by this is that we're going to use a gerund, right? So would you mind after, would you mind? Um, we're going to have to use a gerund, and I'm going to quickly point that out here in a second. So let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here. So as you can see, we, on the left, we see that if I use the expression, can I borrow your pencil? That is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's, it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? 
I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Okay, right, so uh, as you can see here, we have different ways to ask for something to make a request. And like you said, it's not that we are being rude. If we use one of these expressions on top, it's just that most likely when we use these expressions on top is because we are familiar with that person. Like it could be a friend, it could be uh, maybe a family member, uh, somebody, in, somebody that is close to us. And then if you use one of the expressions at the bottom, that probably means that you're trying to be more polite, okay? And also he mentions that when you use one of these expressions at the bottom, uh, when you are more polite, uh, basically uh, that increases the chances that you uh, end up getting your request granted. Like, for example, if you ask, um, I was wondering if you'd mind uh, lending me your car, then probably we are saying it in that way because we're trying to get a yes for an answer, right? Maybe we're trying to be more polite because we want to, the other person uh, to agree, right? So that's the reason why. And, and pr probably because, um, uh, like he said, uh, it could be our boss, it could be somebody that we respect, or somebody that we don't know uh, too much, that, that could be a reason why we use one of these uh, expressions at the bottom, right? So basically, we have this situation here. Uh, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. So then uh, he tells us that we have to um, create sentences using these expressions right here. Like for example, uh, can I borrow $20? Or could you lend me twenty dollars? Or is it okay if I, uh, is it okay if you, if I borrow twenty dollars from you? Things like that, right? Basically, he is what uh, that's what he is telling us right now. Okay. Vamos a pasarnos aquí un, un poquito esta parte. Eh, acá está. Miren por acá él va eh, a, a partir de esa situación de pedirle prestado veinte dólares a un amigo. Acá tenemos ya algunas oraciones utilizando estas expresiones que tenemos por acá, ¿ok? Can I borrow twenty dollars? Could you lend me twenty dollars? ¿Ok? Fíjense bien cómo cambia, ¿verdad? Acá es Can I borrow twenty dollars? Y por aquí en la otra parte es Could you lend me twenty dollars? ¿Ok? So somebody else lends you uh, something, in this case money, but on the other hand, uh, Can I borrow twenty dollars? ¿Ok? Or is it okay if I borrow twenty dollars? Vamos a ver, aquí hay más, <clears throat> tenemos más expresiones. También tenemos, do you mind if I borrow $20? Un poquito más formal. And then, eh, tenemos esta otra que nos explican en el video que cuando nosotros utilizamos esta estructura, like, would it be okay if I borrowed $20? Nosotros ponemos esta, este verbo de acá en pasado para ser más polite todavía, ¿ok? Para ser más eh, formales. Probablemente porque queremos que nos digan que sí, okay? So would it be okay if I borrow twenty dollars? It can be also past. I'm sorry. It can be also in the present. Like in this case, we can remove the. In this case, uh, we can turn the verb into a present form. That's gonna be okay, right? So for example, it can be. Would it be okay if I borrow twenty dollars? Okay. This is no longer in the past. This is in the simple present. So. And it's the same thing, okay? We can do both. But probably if we say it in the past, it's because we're trying to be more polite. Es como cuando lo decimos en español, ¿verdad? Es como que, eh, ¿te importaría si me prestaras eh, 20 dólares? Algo así, no sé. Un poquito más formal, como más, este, como de petición, ¿verdad? Okay, so are, are, uh, any questions, guys, uh, so far? Any questions at all? 
you have any questions for me? Vale, toda esta parte es como de gramática nada más que les quería mostrar a ustedes. Y pues por otra parte también teníamos esta otra expresión. Ok, vamos a ver. Walter. I'm trying to... I'm trying to resolve the, the task we have for knowledge check 3.4. Mm -hmm. 3.4. Okay. But it says here you want to use your roommate's computer. Is it, is it okay if I use your computer? But it says here that is not correct. So I don't know, but according to the example you are giving us, this is the right way, but... Being mm -hmm. with you, I'm not sure. So it's not okay, you you are putting in is it okay if I use your computer? And then Yes. It says that it is incorrect. Yes. Vamos a ver. <clears throat> so it says here um no escriba la petición completa, solamente eh, el complemento. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y dice, asegúrese de eh, escribirlo correctamente y también la puntuación, porque eso es otra cosa. A veces si no tiene el punto, no funciona. Vamos a ver, entonces, probablemente acá no tenemos computer. que, no tenemos que, eh, esta ya no la tenemos que escribir otra vez, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Solamente la parte que va a continuación. Vamos a ver, yo acá les puedo mostrar las respuestas para que vean. Aquí está. Tenemos varias opciones, de hecho, ¿ok? Dice acá. Uh, if I use your computer, okay, or if I use your computer, uh, the only difference here is that, quiero ver, uh, if I use your computer, basically it's the same, right? Bueno, aquí no tiene el, el question mark, no lo tiene, esa es la diferencia. Uh, y por acá, if I use your computer, basically the same thing. Vamos a ver. Ajá, básicamente... Pues creo que como lo estaba enviando Walter estaría bien Solo que uh -huh. Tendría que no escribir la parte del inicio ¿Ok? Solamente okay. If I use your computer Just that ¿Ok? Just that part okay. Thank you You're welcome Thank you very much uh -huh. You let me know if it works Yes, it works I, okay. I put here If I use your computer Now it says that is correct Very good Very, very good. You're welcome. Okay, guys. You. In case that you guys have any problems with this part, just remember, you only have to uh, uh, fill in with the completion, right? It's not the whole sentence, just the completion. Like in this case, uh, it says, would you mind? And then, esto es parte de lo que estamos viendo acá. Con would you mind, a continuación, tendría que ir un gerundio, okay? Como está acá. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your underwater camera ok básicamente eh, va un verbo de los que hemos visto anteriormente con ing ok entonces acá dice you would like for your neighbor to give you a right to work ok entonces básicamente dice acá las respuestas correctas son giving me a right to work ok el verbo en gerundio y luego lo que nos gustaría el favor que nos gustaría que nos hagan. Por ejemplo, en este caso, que nos den eh, un aventón, por así decirlo, al trabajo o algo así. Okay. And then he says, uh, you want a friend to help you move on Saturday? Then, could you help me move on Saturday? Y finally, tenemos acá, <clears throat> dice, uh, you would like your aunt to give you a second piece of pie. So I was wondering if you would mind giving me a second a second piece of pie. Okay. Again, we have the same structure, guys. Vamos a ver. Entonces acá vamos a ir para atrás. Espero que vayamos quedando claros con todo esto. Por aquí tenemos una como pequeña actividad al final que tenemos que completar. Quiero que la hagamos. Um, adjourn. Vamos a ver. Uh, and let me just follow uh, adjourn. What I would like, for example, I, I gave you the, the... Bueno, acá tenemos estas cuatro oraciones. Entonces, lo que tenemos que hacer es escribirlas utilizando estas expresiones, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, tenemos, queremos que alguien nos preste dinero para comprar una soda, ¿ok? 
So you can say something like, uh, can I borrow uh, some money for a soda? Or could you lend me some money for a soda? Y así, ¿ok? Quiero que las hagamos igualitas que estas, por favor. Y luego, eh, cuando las tengan, me hacen saber y las vamos a compartir con la clase. Please. So let's do that, please. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, I write the sentences in my, my notebook or in the chat. Uh, if you like, uh, you can write them down in your notebook. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You can, yeah. uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Sí, creo que es mejor si las escribimos en eh, un cuaderno si ustedes gustan o algo así. Para que sea más divertido. <laughs> y también I que... Sure, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I have a question. We are going to do it like, could you lend me some money for a soda? Mm -hmm. Or we can use, uh, would you mind? Or I was wondering if you'd mind what uh, You need to use all of them. Use. You need to use all, all of them. All of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You guys, you let me know when you're ready. If you have questions, please let me know as well, okay? Should we send it over the chat or you are going to ask in a couple of minutes? Yes, yeah, so I would like for you to tell them uh, like to share your, uh, let's say, sentences with, with the class. That would be great. You guys could do that. 
Okay, I have mine. I don't know what what would you like that I share if I do number one, two, or just sure, one. You, no. you can say all of them, okay? That would be better. Okay. Mm -hmm. My first one is, would you mind lend me some, sorry, would you mind lending me some money for a soda? Very good. The number two is, could, uh, just give me a second. Mm -hmm, sure. Could I return this book to the library? Oh, no. Yeah. Could you? Could I return the books to the library? I haven't seen for me. Sorry, just write it down. Mm -hmm. And and could you let me some? Sorry. Yeah. Could you let me borrow your math homework? And the last one is. Just give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Could I borrow your magazine when you finish reading it? Okay, very good. I, very. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if that's correct. I have a typo in the number two. I didn't see. Yeah, right. Right. Uh, yeah, probably it, it was a little bit different. Maybe you could say something like. Uh, could you return these books to the library for me, maybe? Yeah, it sounds good. Or mm -hmm. even, even would you mind to return? Would you mind returning these books for me to to the library? Right. We can play with the with the sentence, right? That is correct. That is correct. Very good. Thank you so much, Kevin. Bueno, Kevin hizo prácticamente de cada una, porque son cuatro, él tomó allí, eh, como básicamente utilizó una de las estructuras para cada una de las oraciones. Eso fue lo que hizo. Entonces, no sé eh, cómo la tienen los demás. Si lo tienen así, de esa forma. Recuerden, es bien interesante, si se fijan ahí, como que tal vez, a veces como que nos cuesta un poquito más, ¿verdad? Eh, would you mind lending me some money? Okay, we need to remember that part. Uh, cuando tengamos acá... Uh, would you mind, y a continuación va a ir un verbo, va a ir así en la forma del gerundio. Por otra parte, cuando tenemos acá, eh, if, en ese caso no, ¿ok? Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Okay, in that case, the verb is not in the ing form. Just when we have the expression, would you mind letting me use your laptop? Or uh, would you mind letting me your car? In that case, we use a, a gerund, right? Vamos a ver, ¿quién más lo tiene? Vamos a preguntarle por acá a alguien, quizás. Uh, Jared, very good. Go ahead, Jared. Could you lend me some money for soda? Could you return this book to the library for me? Could you lend me your math homework? Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, very good, very, very good. Thank you so much, Jared. Very good job. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien más? Uh, yes. Uh, my example 
the first one could you mean if you lend me some some money for a soda mm -hmm. uh, the next one do you mean if you return these books to the library for me okay one more time dinora one more time please what ah, ah. do you mean it's your tour this book okay to do the you, library for me do you mind okay do you it's mind your tour, uh -huh. um this book to the library for me uh -huh. okay and the next one it's okay if um, let me borrow your math homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Seria, Dinora, Seria, is it okay if uh, you let me? Uh, is it okay? Uh huh. Okay, otra vez, por favor. Is, is it okay if um, you let me uh -huh. borrow your math homework? Okay. Very good. And finally, could you uh, let me the magazine when you just finishes reading, reading it? Uh -huh. okay, okay, vamos a decirlo otra vez. Dinora, muy bien. Vamos a decirlo otra vez. Sería como, por ejemplo, uh, could you lend, uh, could I look at that magazine, por ejemplo? Uh, mm -hmm. Could I look at that magazine when you finish reading it? Por ejemplo, se lo voy a anotar por acá para que vea. Sí, ok. Vamos a ver acá. Could um, I look at that okay. magazine? Así lo pudiéramos decir, ok. Vamos a decirlo otra vez. Dinora, por favor. Mm -hmm. Could. Um, could you no? Could I, could I look? Uh -huh. I look at the magazine uh -huh. uh, when you the finishes reading it. When you finished reading it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, yes. Very good. Okay. The correct for is full. I look. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Dinora. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very good job. Thank you so much, Dinora. Very good. I appreciate that. Bueno, entonces ahí tenemos algunas, algunos ejemplos. Muy bien, guys. Tenemos que practicarlo bastante, ¿ok? Sé que tal vez algunas expresiones un poquito difíciles porque quizás no las utilizamos tanto. Y es normal. Eh, creo que nosotros, eh, por ejemplo, is it okay? O ese tipo de cosas. Would you mind? Uh, ese tipo de expresiones no mucho las utilizamos nosotros porque no es parte como quizás en, en nuestro vocabulario en español no es tan común ¿verdad? Uh, estaría bien eh, si hago esto o te, te importaría como que no mucho lo decimos nosotros en el español ¿verdad? entonces ya al momento de quizás utilizarlo en, en inglés como que ya nos cuesta un poquito más así que tenemos que practicarlo so, is it okay if I use your phone or is it okay if you return these books to the library for me or would you mind uh, if would you mind letting me borrow your math homework? Okay. Remember that right after wonder, uh, I'm sorry, right after would you mind, we have a gerund, right? Like in this case. Uh, sorry, guys. Would you mind letting me borrow your math homework? Okay. Tenemos que recordar eso. Creo que tenemos que practicar y practicar y practicar. Okay. Básicamente, la actividad acá era diferente de como lo hemos hecho. Y está bien, no hay ningún problema. Eh, básicamente, para cada una de las oraciones, nosotros teníamos que emplear esto, ¿ok? Like, uh, can I lend, uh, uh, can I borrow, I'm sorry, can, can I borrow uh, some money for a soda? Or could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay um, if you lend me uh, some money for a soda? Uh, do you mind if uh, you lend me uh, some money for a soda? For example, básicamente teníamos que utilizar cada uno de ellos. Ya, ya van a ver, se lo voy a poner por acá. After we see the word mine or the verb mine, then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. 
what I would like for you to do is to make a request with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you, the, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations. Okay. Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda? Right. This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use all of these model verbs and all of those if clauses and all of those gerunds that you can see there in order to make those requests. The idea here is to practice. Just a moment, guys. Apologize. I, 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 I. Okay, never mind. I don't know why this is doing this. Lending me twenty dollars. Okay, there we go. Okay, and as you can see, I also um, highlighted this in red because. Um, after we see the word mine or the verb mine, then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you the, uh, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations. Okay? Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda? Right? This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use all of these model verbs and all of those if clauses and all of those gerunds that you can see there in order to make those requests. The idea here is to practice. Right, so there we go, guys. Um, bueno, ya practicamos un poco acá, así que quizás lo vamos a dejar así. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta ahora. Any questions, guys? Espero que estemos claros con esa parte. Ya hicimos bastante énfasis en las diferentes formas que podemos hacer una petición, ¿verdad? Ok, luego tenemos esta parte que es lo que estaba preguntando Walter acerca de esta actividad, este knowledge check. Uh, hopefully you guys don't have any issues with that. Um, if that is the case, you guys can always ask, okay? We have the, the group where you can ask here. Okay, we can uh, help each other. You guys have any questions, you guys can just go ahead and say it. All right, then uh, finally guys, for like, this is gonna be like the last part of the class for today. Uh, we have the next lesson, which is uh, 3.5. We have the objective, which is by the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening for specific information. Okay, you're going to listen to requests and you're going to listen to uh, telephone conversations here. Bueno, vamos a seguir con esta parte. Esto de los favores es un poco extenso, si ustedes lo ven. Eh, lo que vamos a ver ahorita en este momento es una convers eh, son una serie de conversaciones. Creo que son como tres conversaciones en las cuales una persona le está pidiendo a la otra un favor. Tenemos que nosotros identificar qué favores y también eh, si la persona accede o si por otra parte eh, se niega a hacer el favor. Okay? So let me go ahead and play the video. Let's pay attention to it. Okay? Let me just go back. Her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me specific information. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <laughs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly. My bird? 
Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, right. I'll... Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, so we have three different scenarios, and the first one, um, somebody is asking uh, for a camera. And then we have scenario number two, uh, when somebody is asking for a bread maker. And then we have number three, when uh, somebody is asking uh, to leave a bird at somebody else's house. So what can you tell me about this? What, uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué pudieron escuchar ustedes en las conversaciones, guys? Vamos a ver. Number one, ¿qué, qué, qué pudieron ustedes identificar allí? De cómo, ¿Cómo se hacen las peticiones? ¿Qué fue lo que le pidió? ¿Le pidió la cámara para qué? ¿Cómo fue que le dijo? Vamos a ver. Walter. ¿Puedo escuchar a Walter? ¿O Luis? Luis también callado. Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I think that in the first conversation, Tina is asking for Robert if he could lend his camera for taking some photos of birds, I guess. Mm -hmm. okay. So he uh, told her that he could bring his camera for her. So he mm -hmm. accepts. Sí, he accepts. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Luis. ¿Y cómo le hace la petición, Luis? ¿Cómo le dice? Por ejemplo, eh, eh, utilizó una de las expresiones que nosotros hemos estado aprendiendo. Le dice, ¿te importaría mm. prestarme tu cámara? ¿Cómo sería? I, th I think that he, that she used, could you, could uh -huh. you please borrow me your camera for taking photos of some birds, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Luis. Yeah, actually, she said, vamos a ver, le vamos a dar para atrás para que lo escuchen rapidito, antes de irnos. And identify whether the person agrees or not. Hello? Hi, Robert, this is Tina. Hi, Tina, what's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of... So, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? Okay. Uh, let's remember, guys, that when we say, uh, would you lend me... Okay, that's the way we do it. On the other hand, if we say, uh, can I borrow your camera? Okay, I'm saying I with borrow. But on the other hand, when we, send, uh, when we say lend... Then we say, would you lend me your camera? Okay, that's the difference. With the, if I say I will, I will, we always have to use uh, the verb with ing, lending. Right, but only if you have something like, would you mind, okay? Like, would, would you, you mind, mind lending me your camera? Me. Okay. Right. But Only if, if we use would you mind. That is correct. That is correct. Mm. You say, would you mind lending me your camera? Or I was wondering if you would mind lending me your camera. That would be another option too. Okay. Be honest, I understand uh, when someone uh, uh, mentioned it, but it's kind of hard for me to use it in to know where or how to use it mm -hmm. yeah i know i know that's okay walter yes uh, no problem i mean uh, at first it may be difficult for us because we're not really accustomed to it but that's the reason why we uh, come here to the class so you guys can practice uh, over and over again uh, practice makes perfect right so if we practice a lot then we're going to be able to do it uh, very easy it's going to be very easy for us Okay. Bueno, eh, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá, guys. Eh, mañana vamos a terminar esta parte. Tenemos que concluir nosotros para mañana. Recuerden, eh, vamos a ver. So we're reading the instructions. Can we read them? I mean, to practice reading and pronunciations. Okay. Yes, of course. Of course. No problem. Yes. Uh, I will try to do that more. Thank you for the uh, suggestion, Karen. I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No, no problem. Yes. 
uh, thank you for the feedback. And I think that uh, at the end, guys, I want to help you so you guys can practice what you need the most. Uh, so I don't want to be like talking all the time. And I apologize if that's something that happens, but I want you to practice and to learn uh, as much as you can. So we're going to leave it uh, here for today. Tomorrow, we need to finish with this uh, section number three. And remember that we also need to finish the midterm exam, right? Uh, that is what you guys are supposed to complete by this week. So we are going to do that tomorrow, okay? Uh, you Which guys one? want to, Which pardon? One by... Which one? Sí, tenemos que Which... completar uh, toda esta sección, la sección tres. Sería todo okay. esto. Y también uh, hasta acá. Hasta el final, ¿verdad? Y luego okay. también tenemos que completar el examen de medio plazo, que sería el que va a continuación. Okay, aquí van a tener ustedes varias eh, pesta pestañas, así como acá. Ya van a, son diferentes pestañas. Por ejemplo, está la de listening. Eh, luego está otra más, que es de elegir la palabra correcta, poner las palabras en orden. Eh, esto hasta acá, hasta reading. Todo esto lo vamos a hacer para el día de mañana. Tenemos que terminar porque, bueno, es como un requerimiento que tienen de parte de la administración porque ellos revisan las notas y todo eso. Entonces lo tenemos que terminar para el día de mañana, ¿ok? Ok. All right, very good. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for coming one more time. Um, it's been a pleasure for me. And I hope you guys have a great evening. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.